happy Thursday. It is Miss Hodge here and today we are going to be learning about compound words. Compound words is basically where you have two words that are words by themselves on their own that can be completely independent and be a word on their own. And then you take those two words and you pull them together and you make a new word with them. That's basically all that a compound word is. So let's look at this word. This word is what? St -ar. Star. And we know that a star is in the sky and we see them at night. So we know that star is a word on its own. And then let's look at this word. Fish. Fish. And we know that a fish lives in water. So we know that a fish is a word on its own. But if we put them together, now when we put them together, we cannot leave a space between them like there is now. You have to rewrite it with both of the words together. So I'm going to erase it here. So that you can see what it should look like together. I'm going to write star first. I'm not going to leave a space. I'm going to put them together. And now we get star fish. And we know that a starfish lives in the ocean, right? And if you've ever been to an aquarium, sometimes you can pick those up for just a brief second. So starfish becomes a word on its own. So I'm going to write a few more and then we're going to see if we can put those together and find out what they are. So I have wrote two different sets of words and we are going to look at those together and add them together to make them into a compound word. Here we go. The first word is base and the second word is ball. If we put those together, we get what? Baseball. Very good. Now remember, you cannot leave a space between those, or if you do, they just remain two separate words on their own. So to make it a compound, you have to make sure that you add them together. Baseball. All right, let's look at the next one. Ready? Sun and flower. Put it together and you get sunflower. Very good. Now I want to challenge you Two, look around your house and see if you can find a compound word. So like maybe a base and a ball, baseball, or a foot and a ball, football, or maybe you could find a sun and a flower, a sunflower, and put those together and send a picture of a compound word to your teacher. Bye friends, I hope you had fun with compound words today.